You are a product of your thoughts. Your thoughts are products of your desires. Your desires are products of your soul. Stick around today as I discuss the most powerful collaboration in the universe, the secret sauce to manifestation. Hello, you are listening to the Manifesto on Purpose show. I am your host, Kimberly. My purpose is to help you elevate your mind so that you can become the best version of yourself. We are in the middle of the Manifesto on Purpose series, where I'm teaching you all about what Manifesto on Purpose means and how to apply it in your life. Today, I'm going to have a conversation about the secret sauce to manifesting on purpose. But first, I have to give you some gratitude. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for spending your time and energy right here with me. Thank you for sharing this with all of those who may need it. And thank you for subscribing here and on the website at Kimberly, K I M B A. L-E-Y dot com. And as always, the God in me loves the God in you. Before I get into the conversation, I'm asking you to please stick around for a brief word from our sponsor. I never make plans without checking my Star 8 mobile numerology app first. Thanks to its amazing calendar feature, It allows me to always be in the right place at the right time. But don't take my word for it. Download the Star 8 mobile numerology app by Astro Numerologist Lloyd Strayhorn. You can find it on the App Store, Google Play, or by going to a Star 8, A-S-T-A-R, the number 8, dot com, or Linktree forward slash numbers in you. Now back to the show. It may sound a little weird, but there's something that has always fascinated me about the triangle. I want to give you a visual mental image of the triangle. So just for a moment, if you're not driving or anything, if you're in a safe location, close your eyes and let's picture this triangle. Think about the base of the triangle. The base is a flat line going across with a point on the left and a point on the right. Each of those points have a line pointing up. These two lines gradually merge to create the tip of the triangle. Once you get a clear mental image of that triangle, you may open your eyes. This triangle represents you. The universe works in flow and order. Because you are part of the universe, so do you. As above, so below. In order to manifest the best version of yourself, you must first get to learn the flow of you. We're going to do that today. And we're going to use the illustration of this triangle to learn the universal flow of you. Let's begin by starting at the base of the triangle. I'm going to use the left side of the triangle to represent body. Use the right side of the base of the triangle to represent mind. The very tip of the triangle is spirit. Let's talk about the body first. 
I choose to talk about the body first because the body is the very basic level of self. If you're not careful, you can perceive that all of our existence is primarily what can be seen in the physical realm, starting with your body and the things you do with your body, the day-to-day living, the things that you can experience with the five senses. Most people are stuck on this level because they feel like that this is all that there is to life, this physical existence. And there's nothing wrong with that for those who are on that level. But in order to elevate to a higher level of consciousness, you have to understand that this is the very basic level of you. What I'm saying is there's more to you than what you can experience with your five senses. Because manifestation is bringing what you can't see into this physical reality as something tangible that you can see, touch, experience with your senses, you have to know that you have to get beyond the physical level in order to bring those things to the physical level. Now let's hop on over to the right side of the base of the triangle. On the right side of the base of the triangle, there is mind. This is the side of the triangle that deals with your imagination, your thinking, your intuition. I always talk about how important the mind is in manifestation. The mind plays a significant role in this collaboration. The reason being, the mind is what controls the body. Your mind is what controls what's happening to you on a physical level. Your mind controls your thinking and your thinking controls your body. Here's a little secret. If you ever want to know what a person has on their mind, see what things are like in their physical reality. The mind will tell on them. This is where your thoughts become important. In order to elevate your physical state, you must first elevate your mental state. The mental and the physical connects. So in order to see something in your physical world, you have to see it mentally first. I remember I was taught this lesson one day at work. It was a busy day at work. I was approached at the end of the day, which was the most busiest time for me to escort a patient up to the front of the hospital. I didn't think I had time to do it at first, but I decided to go ahead and do it anyway. I put a smile on my face and greeted the man and I told him that I was his escort up to the front. He immediately complimented my lime green nail polish. I thanked him and then jokingly said, I was trying to bring springtime into this cold, harsh winter. He laughed and he said something to me that I'll never forget. He said, you know, Some people say, I won't believe it until I see it. He said, I feel you have to see it first. I felt like that was pretty deep, deep enough that it changed my life. We continued to talk and as we rounded the corner, we just so happened to see the gardeners planting fresh green plants inside of the facility. If I had not known how cold it was outside, I would have sworn that it was springtime by seeing the flower bed that was coming up before our eyes. And that's when he told me, see, I told you, you have to see it first. In order to create something in your physical reality, Mentally, you must 
have a picture of it first. Everything that you see around you is an example of someone else's vision, or it is an example of your very own vision, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent. How mind and body works together is an illustration of how the physical and the mental plane come together. That now leads us to the point in our triangle. The point in the triangle is spirit. Spirit is the highest elevation of self. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. As above, so below. This level of you represents the part of you that cannot be experienced using the five senses. But don't get it twisted. Just because it cannot be experienced through the five senses doesn't mean that it does not play a vital role in who you are as a person. In fact, it plays the most important role because who you are or how you see yourself as spirit influences the mind which then goes on to influence the body. That's the cycle. That's the flow of you. The universe has its very own cycle and flow, and you, being governed by the universe, have a cycle as well. And that cycle is body, mind, spirit. Just to clear things up, when I say spirit, I'm not talking about spiritual. I'm talking about your spirit man. I'm talking about that higher part of yourself. That's the part of you that exists beneath the earth suit. The part of you that exists beyond the labels. I'm talking about tapping into the deepest part of yourself. That's something that we all must do. Tapping into the deepest part of yourself will allow you to discover who you really are. It will allow you to discover that you are truly limitless. It will let you know that the only thing that holds you back is you and it will show you that there's something truly special about you. There's so many things that tapping into your higher self can do for you. Now that you know that you need to tap into the spirit part of self, I'm going to tell you how to do that. One way you can tap into the spirit part of self is through introspection. Introspection is simple. Introspection is really asking yourself questions about yourself. That's one of the easiest things you can do to tap into that higher part of yourself. All of the answers that you're seeking is already right there. All you have to do sometimes is just ask the questions. Another way that you can tap into that highest part of yourself is through meditation. Begin a regular meditation practice. You will be surprised at the results that you may get. You should also practice being in the moment. There are so many people today that suffer with anxiety and depression. Depression is too much focus on what has already happened and anxiety is focusing on what hasn't even happened yet. You're focusing on something that will happen in the future. You don't even know if it's true yet. Focus on the present moment. Yesterday is gone. 
and tomorrow hasn't got here yet. Turn off the noise. Spend time to yourself. Turn off your devices. Get away from the outside noise. Last but not least, and I like this one, honor the spirit within you. We try so hard to get everything just right. We want to be so perfect sometimes, not even thinking about the fact that we are okay just as we are. It's funny because I'm always the one that would encourage a friend who's on a diet, go ahead and have that cookie if you want to. Go ahead and have a slice of cake. Sometimes you just need to do something to honor yourself. Find out what that is for you. What do you do that you can enjoy in order to honor the spirit within you? You're not going to be perfect. You're not going to get everything right. While you're here, enjoy it some. There's nothing wrong with doing something that makes you happy. You are a product of your thoughts. Your thoughts are products of your desires. Your desires are products of your soul. Body, mind, spirit. Your body is a reflection of what's on your mind. And your mind is a reflection of what's in your spirit. The triangle, one of my favorite shapes. It has a flat line at the base that leads to the peak. Makes me think about elevation. As above, so below. To manifest the life of your desires, You must first know what your desires are. Tap into the spirit side of you to learn who you are, what you want, what direction you want to flow in. Nurture and honor that side of you because it is that side that influences your mind. It helps you change your thinking. To align with the things that you want in your life. It helps you redirect your beliefs. Which then influences the body. It brings the non-visible. The things you can't see with the five senses. Into your physical reality. That reality that's tangible. The reality that you can experience with all five senses. If you're one of the ones that won't believe it until you see it, you should tap into your spirit. You have to see it first. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose 